right. we think that we are the personification of evil in this world. Right. We think that we are what represents evil in this world. That's why we accept the white man as Jesus. Right. That's a lie, black man. God is not Jesus Christ is not white. His father is not white. Let's get that in Revelations 1 and 14. Let's prove all things. Let's prove all things. You know that, sister? You understand that? Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Yeah, I understand. A black man. Why you ran past me? I was waving hard. You don't see me out here with these people. Okay, come on. Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says his hair and his hairs were white like wool. Let's back up for a second. Let's go up to Revelations 1 and 1. Watch this. Let's go up to Revelation 1 and 1. Whose hair is white like wool? Whose hair? Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So the word revelation the Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation comes from the word to reveal, reveal, reveal. The word reveal means to show, to declare. So the Bible is going to show or declare what Jesus Christ, the real Messiah looks like. Let's jump back down. Let's jump back down to verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ, in the revealing of Jesus Christ, the Bible says his hair and his head were white like wool. Like wool. White is a color. White is a color. What happens to our hair in our age? What happens? It turns gray or white, right? And then it says wool. Wool is a texture. What is wool? Who knows what she, you know what sheep's wool look like? Yeah. Whose hair got, who got wool hair? in this world what people like black people my brother got wool hair you got wool hair if you don't straighten it our people have wool hair this is wool hair right here we've been taught to hate ourselves we've been taught to hate that thing but the bible says god's hair is like wool the bible says that that is beautiful god god created beauty we've been misled and misguided mistaught by our oppressor so now we think what he is is what beauty is and that's false. That's false. And that's why we hate each other. But read on. Right. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. What happens? What happens when, I, when we drink wine? What happened? Can anybody answer that? Yeah, drunk. Right, no, well, you drink a little bit of wine. I don't mean you drunk. Uh, I mean, you, drunk. you can get drunk. Yeah. You can get drunk, well, right? What happens when you drink wine? When you drink, when you drink a little bit of wine, the reds of your eyes, I mean the whites of your eyes turn red. Do they not? I Pay attention to going forward. Just check it out. Prove the Bible. You understand? So when you drink a little wine, your eye, the whites of your eyes turn a little red. What was the first miracle Christ did? His first miracle. He turned water into wine. There you go, sister. The truth is in plain sight. The truth is in plain sight. He turned water into wine. So Christ did drink why? That's why his eyes were red, right? And the prophecy of Christ has always been that. Go, give me all praises, my man. My man, watch this. Watch this. Because the Bible got to support everything I'm saying to you. I'm subject to lie, right? So we got to go with the book, say, right? Come on. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. You don't have to take my word. The Bible explains itself. Right. The Bible says the reason his eyes are red as fire is because it's with wine. Because he drank wine. In moderation, he was not a drunk because that's a sin. You understand? That's a sin. Come on, jump back. Read. Read where you at, Revelation. And his eyes. Read where you at. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So his feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sister? Brown, you got brass on your arm right now. You got brass on your arm, it's like a brown, derivative of brown, right? Watch this, they're like brass, so they're like that brown. Look at that brown while we read this, watch this. 
as if. As if they burned in a furnace. So now you take that same brass, that same brown right there on your on your wrist right there, sis, right? What color will it turn if you burn it with fire? Black. Black. Christ was blacker than everybody out here. That's right. Christ was blacker than everybody out here. Not olive complected. What's some other thing? He didn't look uh, Arabian or Middle Eastern. He wasn't what he definitely wasn't a damn devil over there. That's right. right. Hold that up, face it. She can't see that. Turn it around for me, uh, soldier. That's definitely not the Bible. That's the image of the beast. That's right. That's right. And that's, that also is in the Bible. That also is in the Bible. You know what we gotta do, sis? Stop hating ourselves. And today is the day. Today is the day. I'm gonna show you you hate yourself. Are we gonna change that Lord's will? We're gonna change that, but I'm gonna show you because it's deeper than just saying, I hate myself, I hate myself in the mirror. I'm stupid, it's, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that, right? Watch this, um, no, give me go, next, next chapter, verse nine. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter two and verse nine. Watch. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. Uh -huh. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. The Bible says that there are people, because once we find out Christ is black, which Christ was a Jew, right? Right. right? So once we find out he's black, you say, well, well, who, well who is we? Right. Who are we then if, if I'm black, right? And he's black, and he's the king of the Jews. Right. His father right. created his people. So who are we? So first we have to establish who is sitting in our seat right now. Right. We have to establish who's taking, who's stolen your identity so that we can understand thoroughly who we actually are and how we should feel about us as a nation. Yeah. Come on, watch this, start over. Verse nine, I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulations. So the Bible says, I know thy works and thy tribulations, right? God says, I know how hard you try and I know how much you go through as a people. As a people, tribulation is a bat is a struggle. That's not that's not a good time. A tribulation is a rough time, a rocky time. That's when you look around our li the, our living where we live in, the communities we have, how we treat each other in our communities, how we treat it in this society, in this world. I know thy works and thy tribulation. Watch this. Watch this. And poverty. And what? And poverty. And poverty. Hmm. Let me ask you this, sister. And you might not know the answers, don't worry. It's all right not to know. It's better to learn though, right? Who, rule, who rules and runs, let's say, the music industry? The so-called Jews or Jewish people. Who runs? Yeah. You thought black people ruled that? You thought they was writing their rhymes? You you thought you thought future came up with his own on his own with his own mind to say I'm gonna teach my people Percocet Molly Percocet you thought he came up with that because he don't do Molly or Percocet right yeah so who told him to do that where did he get that from the Jew, the people his boss that's where he got that from who rules uh what's 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 those company I'm gonna give you some names of these companies who runs Virgin Records. What's the, I forget his name, the white man. Somebody Google that real quick. Tommy Matola. Not Tommy Matola. That's Sony. Tommy Matola. That's a that's another uh that's another Caucasian man. He ru he rules, he runs Sony Entertainment. The mu Sony Music Entertainment, Sony Music Group. That's Tommy Matola. Jimmy Iveen, he runs Interscope. You thought it was uh Dr. Dre. Richard Charles. Richard Brandon. Richard, Brandon. Richard yeah. Charles Brandon. Yeah. That's yeah, what show me you, you you looking at a picture of him? Yeah. That's who runs that. That's right. That's who runs that. You thought you thought our brothers and our sisters were coming up with these lyrics? No. No. They telling you, they telling them what to teach you. Yeah, they telling them to the pour out. Exactly. That's what's happening. Right. Yeah. Are those things are are those things that 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 they make or perpetrate in their record labels and their music, right? Because it's really theirs, it's not ours. Are they running those or pushing those things or allowing those things in their own communities? Or do you think he got his children on Miley and Percocet? No. Do you think when he come in, when he come in his children's room and they sitting up there listening to Miley Percocet, he gonna allow that in his house? Yeah. No. No. So when we, now read this again. Now you have some familiarity with what's going on. Watch this. 
I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. And poverty. So now, why, why is it, or, or who's profiting off of Future's lyrics or Future telling you Molly Percocet? Who's profiting off of that? No, Jimmy, I, I mean, um, the, the, the Richard Brand, the, uh, Richard Charles Brand. When that few he is, because you got to give him a couple, not that much, you got to give him a couple bones. You got to give him a couple, you know what I'm saying, a couple treats, keep him going, keep him, give him some incentive to do what he's doing. But he's poisoning the rest of his community, the rest of his people, the rest of his nation. So the Bible says, I know thy poverty, thy tribulation, and thy works. That's what the Bible say. Watch this, read. But thou art rich, uh -huh. and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, uh -oh. and are not. Now the Bible says, I know the blasphemy. You know what word blasphemy mean? Like. Yeah, it's like BS. Yeah. It's like BS. But most, most descriptive, it's a lie. Right. And most, most more descriptive than that, a lie against God. A lie against God. So if Christ is black and you are Christ's lineage, then how is it that those people over in the land of Israel today are calling themselves the Jewish people? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth